The Hornets in their new all-white away strip, and uh, the teams are out. We're about to get underway. It's uh, Ben Wilmot. And he looks for uh, Mark, uh, for Sierra Alto. It's turned forward early, looking for Jerome Sinclair, but it's uh, John Massinho. Was trying to chip it out of play, but Sinclair's done well because he's knocked it, off, knocked it off him. And he looks for Pericho, and it's saved by the goalkeeper. It'll come to Stevenson, who perhaps took, wanted to take a touch. He'll come back to Pericho. Dan Phillips wants it. Pericho is still there. Phillips on the edge of the box. Finds Navarro. His cross towards the far post. Pericho heads it back across goal, but behind. And uh, Stipe Pericho, nearly with his first touch in English football, very nearly getting on the score sheet. Not for playing out from the goal kick, and Phillips finds it. Uh, Pericha and here's Sinclair, right hand side. Pericha and Keener up with him. Still has it Jerome Sinclair. Level with the edge of the penalty area. Massinho closing him down, holding onto it well. Sinclair works it back to Sierra Alta, 10 yards inside the Oxford half. Goes across the centre circle to Wilmot, who first time works it out to Stevenson on the left hand side, wearing number 47. His cross looking for Pericho, gets his head on it and it clips the top of the bar and goes over. A foot too high, perhaps, not even that. Clip the top of the bar with the goalkeeper beaten. Here's Chalabar driving the ball forward, but uh, Long picks it up for Oxford. And finds Cooper once again, 10 yards outside the penalty area. He's round Sierra Alta and uh, runs through the challenge to Chalabar on his hall. Hall shoots and Robert Hall finds the left hand corner of the net. An instant strike from Rob Hall on his left foot. No chance for Daniel Backman away to his left. And it's the League One side that strike first here at the Kassam Stadium. Oxford United 1, Watford 0. Here's Phillips. Right hand side down by the corner flag. Works it to the feet of Sinclair on the edge of the box. He's clipped across looking for Pariccia. It's a diving header away from Moore. Wilmot is first to it. And keeps it alive for Watford. Finds Stevenson. Takes a couple of touches. Thought about the cross. Holds it up. Keen is outside him. Stevenson finds Wilmot 30 yards out. His cross looking for Pariccia, who couldn't get the contact on it that he would have wanted. And the ball just bounces through to the goalkeeper, Stevens. Phillips caught in possession and Hall runs towards the edge of the penalty here. And here's Jose Yor onto his left foot. Backman makes a save. Backman has to parry that away. I need the penalties to get to this round. To a one-all draw here against AFC Wimbledon. Jose Yor tries to turn. It comes to Brannigan, edge of the box. His shot. And Backman makes a flying save to parry it wide. Fine save that from Daniel Backman to keep the score at one, just as you were alluding to, Tommy Watford, not wanting to concede again before half-time. Defenders sliding in suggest they're not in the right starting positions for, for to make tackles. They've got to change this quickly. Ford with the outswinging corner. Moore tries to get something on it and it hits the post and bounces away to safety. But it's poked goalwards by Elliot Moore. And uh, fortunately for Watford, came back off the post. Here's Aguilé, but he's offside in the Watford penalty area. Stevens clears inside the uh, Oxford penalty area. Over the halfway line, Wilmot hits it into the centre circle. But Cooper turns away from Navarro and runs at Sierra Alta and he's got Long outside him. Sam Long running into the penalty area. Another great save from Backman. Oh, and Cooper on the rebound. Misses an open goal. He puts it over the bar. Another huge let off for the Hornets. Daniel Backman making another fine save to deny Sam Long in the initial move. The ball then falling to Cooper, almost on the penalty spot, and he put it over the bar. Went all the way to the quarterfinals last season, Carl Robinson's side, before being beaten for the second season running here at the Kassam Stadium by Manchester City in that run last season. They beat West Ham here by four goals to nil. A Sinclair goes for goal and fires a rising drive that took a little nick on the way. Uh, Gillingham have beaten Coventry on penalties by uh, five penalties to Four. Now it's curled forward and here's Pariccia into the penalty area. Stipe Pariccia on his debut, saved by the goalkeeper. Jack Stevens denies Pariccia a debut goal for the second time tonight. Stevenson moves down the touchline towards the edge of the penalty area, leaves it for João Pedro. Kina makes a run and he finds him. That's a lovely ball and a lovely run. Kina to cut it across the six yard box and there's no one there. Really good movement and passing there. You can see Kina's made a fabulous run in behind and it's a, it is a good cross across across the face of the goal. Left footed, in swing towards the post. Pariccia held it on, saved by the goalkeeper. It comes to Sierra Alto, who missed his kick as after he controlled it. And Oxford scrambled away. Just wouldn't fall for Sierra Alto. 
Moves up towards the halfway line and hits a long ball forward. Out to the left-hand side. Nice bit of space for Toby Stevenson. Takes the ball down on his chest and then shapes across towards the far post. Pariccia heads it down. But it comes to Jao Pedro. He doesn't scuff his cup, but it comes to Semmer, who equalises for Watford in the 89th minute. Toby Stevenson with the cross. Pariccia with the header down. Jao Pedro missed his kick, but it fell for Ken Semmer with Oxford all over the place at the back. Ken Semmer equalises late on for the Hornets. Oxford United 1, Watford 1. Penalties looming. Stay with us on Hive Live. Here's uh, Ose Yor finding Lofthouse. Lofthouse is crossing towards Hall in the near post. Brilliant save from Backman. Daniel Backman keeps Watford alive. Clawing the ball away and behind for an Oxford corner. So Anthony Ford, who scored in uh, round one from the penalty spot against AFC Wimbledon to get the penalty shootout underway against Daniel Backman. Ford then, relatively short run up, right footed. And Backman makes a fine save, tipping the ball onto the post. Well, Daniel Backman has just got better and better this evening. Ken Semmer, whose goal has taken us to this stage, is up first for Watford. Left footed, the Swede up against Stevens, sends him the wrong way, and Watford have the advantage in the penalty shootout. Michael McGuan, who came on as a second half substitute, he's uh, on loan from Nottingham Forest. Graduated from Arsenal's academy. Had a spell in Spain with Barcelona B. He's up next against Daniel Backman, right-footed. Backman saves again down to his right. Domingos Kina is up next for Watford to see if he can double their lead in this shootout. Short run up into the right-hand corner. Backman waits. The uh, left-footer, Robert Hall. And Backman saves again. Down to his left this time. And now Stipe Perica can win the tie for Watford. With just their third penalty. Well, uh, Jack Stevens has had uh, all the luck so far against Stipe Perica in normal time. But here he comes, right-footed into the bottom corner. And Watford go through. So lots of positives for Watford to take out of a night that for so long perhaps looked like it was going to be one that wouldn't be remembered long with uh, trailing for so long. But they've come out on tops in the end. Curtis of your penalty shootout went out on penalty two seasons ago at Tottenham. But tonight, Daniel Backman sends them through via the shootout. Oxford won, Watford won after 90 minutes. But the Hornets head to Newport, courtesy of a penalty shootout victory by three penalties to nil. Where are you going? Subscribe first. <laughs>